Hi guys, it's me, B, just a person who will be a straight A student if K-pop was my major. Welcome back to my dream catcher series. We have another mini album called The End of Nightmare. A their fourth mini album. Title track Pity. As I mentioned in my previous video, um, Pity is <laughs> at least top five but maybe actually top three dream catcher title tracks that i've heard so far uh, like yeah um so excited about this mini album so we do have as always with the mini albums one intro one title track and then three b-sides okay so first, obviously intro, okay, let's go. The guitar. That must have been like the most badass like <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but like the sickest intro so far i won't say that it is that it is my favorite intro though oh i don't know which my favorite i really really like the the intro that was called my toys that was amazing but i absolutely love all of their intros because they're so good okay now <gasps> and as always with their title tracks like as i always would like with k-pop music i never really go back and watch music videos i always just listen to the songs that i really like on spotify so it's so much fun when i actually do go back and watch music videos so okay Pity. Let's go. Damn, I already forgot how good this music video is. I'm, I feel like I've been get more obsessed with her by the day. As always, The rock in this is insane. 
Absolutely love Dami's short hair. Ooh, the bridge as well, and this one is so good. ways oh my god the music you know the like visual wise the song is good like everything it is so good um i feel like i this is like on also obviously because i'm getting to know them more but in like this music video it's like it's been the easiest for me to tell them apart but also feel like with this um this was like the point where Sua and Shiyeon started looking <laughs> much less alike because I don't know it is I feel like uh Shiyeon has usually her makeup and like maybe it's her eye shape as well it's like more more sharp looking but yeah I would like to describe Shiyeon as more like fierce, sharp looking, <laughs> if that makes sense. And then Suwa, more like soft. If you guys agree with me, like that's the way I would maybe describe it. Um, and it was so easy for me to see that it was Yo Hyun starting off the song and not Yiyu. So, That's great. Um, yeah, this song is, yeah, it has to be top three, I think. Let me know, like, at the end of my discography series, if you want me to do, like, in, like, a summary of my thoughts on the discography, maybe, like, do a top, like, top five, top ten, top five, I don't know, if you want me to do something like that. But yeah that was pity now we have the b-sides and the first one is called diamond okay let's go Promising beginning. Innocence, innocence, I don't know if she improved at this point, but she sounds amazing. 
지는 별내 몸을 감아 날 지켜줘 오 영원히 and I'm already obsessed with this mini album. Might be another, like one of my like my favorite B sides. <laughs> um, that was amazing. Uh, yeah. Also, I need more lines from Gaion. I wonder if she has done any solo. I really wish she had done some like some a solo song or something, so I can hear like a full song with her voice. Also, I just remembered, it's Shiyeon, isn't it, that has that song, Paradise. She did a solo song. That song I actually have added to my K-pop playlist on Spotify. And I listen to it quite often, actually. It's hella good. Um, I think I did a reaction to it, to it as well, actually. <laughs> Anyways, next song is called... And there was no one left. Hmm? Let's go. I think I'm losing my way. All different. instrumental chorus like that.
Oh my god oh i just hope the last song is really good as well because then i'm having your favorite album by dreamcatcher no pressure <laughs> and the last song is called daydream okay <sighs> let's go Starting off, <laughs> The fact that I still get surprised every time she sings, I know she can sing and her voice is louder than when she raps, but still, I get shocked every single time. This part. <laughs> I 
new favorite Dreamcatcher album. Um, ooh. But I'm, as I've mentioned before, very curious and excited about their most recent albums to see like the b-sides on those also finally when i catch up and can finally react to what what is because is that the title of their newest go back title track um yeah but this so far this is my new favorite dream catcher album um yeah because i absolutely love all three b-sides and the title track is oh um yeah you let me know your thoughts on this uh, after nightmare no <laughs> what was it called the end of nightmare um also for forgot to read when it was released it was february 13th 2019 Right, okay, next thing on the list is, ooh, second Japanese single album, PD, Japanese version. So, oh, Japanese, no new songs though on that album. We have Japanese versions of PD, Goodnight, and Wonderland. So, yeah. I also see that they have the beginning of the end is their first Japanese album. On there is a lot of. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Because some of them, actually, a lot of them I've already reacted to before. So on that one, I will only react to the songs I have not reacted to yet. So yeah, okay. Anyways, as always. Before you leave this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys again another time. Bye!